Hey there, super friend. Have you ever dreamt about learning another language? About being able to impress your friends or travel without worry because you can effortlessly communicate in a beautiful foreign language? Well, what if I told you that those benefits are just a small fraction of the benefit you'll get from learning another language? In fact, what if I told you that in addition to staving off Alzheimer's, sharpening your memory, and helping you make better decisions, learning another language could also make you significantly wealthier as well? Stay tuned. Over the course of a lifetime, how much more do you think that you'd make if you knew a foreign language? The answer might surprise you. But before I tell you the answer, let's take a moment and think why this is true. Well, think about it. The more skills you have, the more valuable you are in the labor market, whether that's as a founder of your own company, like myself, or to a potential employer. That's why the dream employee of today is not the honed-in specialist, but the jack-of-all-trades generalist who knows how to do a little bit of everything. Coming back to language learning, this makes perfect sense. In today's hyper-connected global economy, those who are able to fluently work with people from other cultures have a key competitive advantage, especially if they speak a language like German, Russian, or Mandarin. As it turns out, there's an overwhelming amount of research that proves this very point. Learning additional languages has massive economic benefits over time. In one study, MIT economist Albert Size estimated that each additional foreign language you learn is worth about 2% of an increase in your annual salary. This research was heavily promoted, and you probably saw it in The Economist. Now, this is actually backed up by research from Wharton and the LECG Europe, which also came to the rough number of 2%. In the case of the German language, which is particularly in high demand, Size found that you could actually earn as much as 3.8% more than your non-German speaking counterpart. Does 3.8% sound like a lot of money? Well, actually, it might be a conservative number. On the far end of the spectrum, research from Euro London, a recruitment agency, has actually found that multilingual candidates typically earn 10 to 15% more in the job market. This, of course, doesn't even include the fact that by speaking multiple languages, you become eligible for tens of thousands of jobs in a new and exciting country and thousands of highly desirable jobs that require you to speak multiple languages proficiently. Think, for example, of the types of jobs that are only available to people who speak multiple languages. Jobs working in foreign diplomacies, high-paid consulting gigs, and of course, jobs at the CIA or MI6. And that's just one additional language. Imagine if you, like me, are able to read and write in not two, but four languages. Can you hear that cash register sound? So to answer the question from earlier on, over a lifetime, adding more foreign languages to your skill set could conservatively at a rate of 2 to 3.8%, mean between $77,000 and $128,000 in additional earnings. Now, slam that like button if you wouldn't mind an extra conservative $128,000 in your pocket. So how can you start learning another language? After all, many people struggle just to learn their first language with a sufficient level of mastery. Isn't it incredibly difficult to learn yet another one? And what about forgetting other languages? Wouldn't learning an additional language push out all the stuff that you have in your overly packed brain? No, no, and no. The truth is, if you use the right techniques and strategies, each additional language that you learn is easier than the ones before it. Part of this is because with each additional language you learn, you'll gain an understanding 
of how different grammatical structures and concepts such as grammatical gender, declensions, and complex conjugations work, minimizing the amount of work that you'll need to do the next time you learn a language. If, for example, you learn German, you'll understand the concept of having three grammatical genders, which we don't have in English, and you'll know what it means to declense into grammatical cases, which we also don't have in English. That means that should you ever decide to learn Russian or any other Slavic language, you'll have a massive head start over non-German speakers. But on top of this, it's important to note that how you learn a language is incredibly important. Whereas rote memorization and painstakingly studying grammatical rules can and will make it more difficult to juggle all the different rules and vocabularies in your mind, using an intelligent neuroscience-based learning method will actually accelerate your progress and your ability as you learn more and more and more languages. You see, when you use neuroscientifically proven methods, such as those that we teach in our super learner programs, you learn to connect all new knowledge to existing knowledge. And this means that the more knowledge you have, the easier it is to build connections. See, because I already knew Hebrew, Spanish, and English, it was much easier for me to learn basic Russian than it would be for a monolingual person. I mean, think about it. I had many more words, sounds, and grammatical examples to draw from because my library was three times bigger than someone else's. Oftentimes, I'll learn a new word in Russian that doesn't even exist in English, and I have to think of it in Hebrew. But that's another topic for another lecture. For now, let me leave you with this question. What language have you always dreamt of learning? How much would learning that language potentially improve your life in terms of the new friends you could make, the new countries you could travel to, and of course, the cold, hard cash in your retirement savings? Let me know in the comments below. Now, stop and think. What's actually stopping you from doing it? If it's an ability to learn quickly and effectively, then I highly encourage you to check out this completely free one-hour training seminar where I'll break down some basic neuroscience and reveal some of the world's most powerful memory techniques, such as the ones used by world champion memory athletes and record holders. I'll see you there.